one of the world's greatest investment pieces and maybe the most undervalued uh, also. Uh, when it comes to in, you know investment caliber rookie cards, especially for basketball, Steph Curry uh, might be the best candidate to kind of jump into that realm of what we call the immortals with uh, Kobe and LeBron and Jordan. If there's any one guy that I think is really at the precipice of joining that club, it's, it's Steph Curry. Uh, this is the card which really embodies his rookie campaign more than any other. It's, it's the true RPA rookie from National Treasures in the inaugural year of National Treasures, very much like exquisite in 2003 with LeBron. Uh, that's what you have here in 2009, uh, and it just happened to be Curry's rookie year, just like LeBron's in 03. Uh, this is really the uh, the production that would carry the torch away from Exquisite, uh, and to this day is still the, the most preferred brand uh, for high-profile RPA rookies. Uh, comparing this card to LeBron's rookie, uh, you know, a 9.5 of that versus um, a 9.5 of this, you can do the math, but I think this card has tremendous ROI potential, and I think, you know, Curry as a performer both on and off the court is one of the more prolific and exciting brands that exists uh, in professional sport. This particular example, on top of all that, being one of the 99 copies ever made, has been awarded a 9.5 designation overall for the technical grade, which just sets this off as like one of the irreplaceably beautiful and important examples. The subs, as you can see there, are absolutely intense. Two full uh, points ahead of a standard base issue 9.5. You have 9.5 on centering edges and corners, surfaces a 10. Uh, just might be the finest example of this National Treasures that we've ever sold. Uh, might be the best we ever get a chance to sell at that. And only 99 copies ever made. This is serial 62 of 99. Notably, the autograph is a 10. Oftentimes, this very small region that you had to autograph it, the um, way Beckett assigns technical grades on autographs, if that top loop had broken into the um, into the patch window, then that would have been considered a flaw, rendering a 9 grade uh, as a you know, as a on-card autograph, which this is, most are sticker, uh, there just wasn't a lot of room there. So getting one with a 10 autograph is also very difficult. The patch is awesome, three color with lots of stitching. This just has so many superlatives, it's hard to know where to start and stop. But from an uh, ROI game, from a, the perspective of, you know, where do you want to position your, mel your, your wealth, you know, in this space, as far as, you know, diversifying a portfolio, this is a card which is really in the upper stratosphere of not only where it is today, but I think where it could go in the future combined with what I think is also an undervaluation compared to the comps of today. Absolutely love that card in every way. Uh, couldn't come more highly recommended.